Alrighty guys, this is the final part, and after this video, I'll upload it and I'll enjoy the show with you guys. Obviously. This, my, my, my connection, the, the new internet connection that was connected a couple months ago, is very, very fast. Hence how my videos get uploaded within like 6-7 minutes, it gets, up, it gets uploaded. Whereas my old internet connection, it, t it took like an hour, 40 minutes to get uploaded. It was crazy. But now my videos get uploaded within a good like 5-10 minutes. It gets uploaded it's fast. So in a good, like, I don't know, 40 minutes from now, you guys will see this video um, uploaded on my Sabbath House channel. You better, you better enjoy this series, Why So Can, on my Sabbath House channel. Yeah, so that is my deal for Warner Bros. That is my deal for David Zasloff, if he's still CEO, because Anne Sonoff was only CEO for a couple years, and they replaced her with David with David Zasloff. So I don't know if David Zasloff will still be CEO by the time I start Sky Source. If he is, I'll give him a call, obviously. I'll find his number, and I'm going to say, Hey, David, I'm interested in purchasing the rights off your Matrix brand. That's if me and VJ agree to do the Matrix trilogy, as I might perhaps just do the Great Escape instead. We'll see what happens. I have what trilogy you'd rather do. I'd rather do the Matrix trilogy, to be honest, than do the four movies. The Matrix trilogy is, is a fucking what? It's, there's something very, very unique about the Matrix. The Matrix is a very, very unique kind of story. It's a unique story told, obviously. Like, you have the dream world and the, the Matrix, and you have the real world, which is Zion and the Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, it's very, it's a very interesting story, obviously. Yeah. Remember the scene when Neil woke up? You saw all those, all those people sleeping? Yeah, those are all the people who were plugged into the Matrix, who have not been unplugged, obviously. Yeah. Because Neo is the one, obviously, he's all he has a special birth. He's special, obviously. Neo is the one. You know what I'm Neo is the one. And the world was exact will accept my deal. Ivan, the Matrix trilogy is better off in your hands. Yes, it's better off in my hands. When you when you give me the rights to your brand, guys, I'll take good care of your Matrix franchise. This Matrix franchise will become bigger than Star Wars, guys. It'll become just as big as Xanus. The Xanus brand will beat out Star Wars, obviously, but once I release the, once I purchase the rights on the Matrix, the Matrix brand will rival even my Xanus brand. It'll rival it. I don't know if we'll beat it out, but it'll, it'll be it'll, it'll be tied pretty much. It'll rival it. Some saying they'll be they'll be they'll, they'll, they're, you're looking at two big brands. You have the Zayn's brand. You also have the Matrix brand. And if I purchase the, the rights to Spider Miles Morales, you also ha you also have the Spider Miles Morales brand. I'm gonna turn those into games too. Yeah. So if I purchase the rights off the Matrix, Phase One will be Zaynus. Zaynus, my Zaynus game and my Zaynus movie. That's Phase One. Phase Two will be my Matrix. Will, will, will be my Matrix trilogy. If if I choose to purchase the rights off the Matrix, if I don't, I do those four movies. Those five movies will be my will be all will be all Phase One, and then Phase Two will be will, 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 will be what? Will, will be what? Ivan, why don't you just do the four movies and do the Matrix trilogy? No, I, I don't want to do that because 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 all these guys who I'm considering are all going to be are all going to be aging. I'm saying because I can't think of anyone else better to play the great grandson than Michael B. Jordan. So if I do the Matrix trilogy after four movies, Michael B. Jordan will be in his 50s. He'll be too old. He'll be old. I want him to be younger, obviously. Hence why I what? I'd rather do the Matrix trilogy after I do Xanus. I'll do the Matrix trilogy. So I'll do Xanus, then I purchase the rights from Warner Bros. and I do the Matrix trilogy and I cast Michael B. Jordan as uh, as, as 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 what? As Morpheus' great grandson. So have you choose Michael B. Jordan? Yes, Michael B. Jordan is pretty much chosen. If if I purchase the rights off the Matrix brand, which I most likely will. Michael B. Jordan will be chosen, and I'll have I'll sign him to a three movie deal, and he'll play as the great grandson of of, of Morpheus, of Morpheus and Naomi, and I might have Brie Larson and John Cusanti in the movie too. I'll cast them, sign them to a two movie deal. I I might have them die in the, in the second movie, sign them to a two movie deal, which is good, and then I might perhaps have Cage App. I have him be the operator. 
Um, what's that guy's name? Who was the operator in the Matrix? I forget his name, man. The guy, the guy who was born and raised in Zion. The guy who, um, who Cipher uh, shoots, shoots, shoots with the electric gun. What's his name again? Was it Buzz or something like that? I forget. I forget his name. Yeah, I might perhaps have Keija Appa be the operator. So he doesn't fight in the matrix, but he's the operator guy. He's the operator. You can have him be the operator. You can save some of the guys who you have chosen for your movies. You can have Zendaya be in the matrix too if you want. Cast her for the movie. You can have Zendaya be in the matrix. You can have her be... Uh, yeah. You can have Zendaya be Michael B. Jordan's sister if you want. You can do that. Zendaya and Michael B. Jordan are the great grandson and great granddaughter of Naomi of, of Morpheus. You can do that if you want. Just have something like that if you want. You know what I'm saying? Or you can have Zendaya be Michael B. Jordan's girlfriend. Have him have him be his girlfriend. Well, you can do that. You can do that if you want. You can choose. You can, you can have have some of those guys. But the only guy I'm thinking of right now for 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 the Matrix is the Fist actor and Michael B. Jordan. And pretty much, Brie, I, I can picture Brie Larson and John Cazenzi in the movie too. You can cast them in the movie, sign them to a two movie deal if you want. Obviously, you can pay Brie Larson a good $10 million for the first movie. Give her 0.0, I don't know, 1%, 2%. In the second movie, you give her 0.02% too. So pay her like 11.5, 12 million for the second movie. Give her 0.02. And, and John Cazenzi, you can pay him 13 for the first, give him 0.02. The second movie, you can pay him 14.2, give him 0 0.02. Or 0 0.03 for the, for the second movie. You can do it like that for, for, for John Cazenzi. They're, 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 they're part of the Nebuchadnezzar crew, and, they, and, 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 and they, they, they go into the Matrix, and they kick ass. they got an amazing movie, yeah, man. You got Brie Larson, John Cazenzi, Mike B. Jordan kicking ass, man. Look at an amazing movie, yeah, man. Now, I'm going to hire the best stuntman. The best stuntman, the best kung fu stuntman to train all of us in kung fu. You know how Keanu Reeves and Brett Karen Moss did that training? Yeah. I'll have us train for good, like six months of training. Six, seven months of training around there. The major movie will only take, each movie will only take two and a half year, pro it's only a two and a half year project. First year is writing scripts, and this, towards the second year, I'll fly in Michael Wijor and all them. Sign them, you take them out to nice dinner, obviously. And then the second year, their training starts and the table read starts. And I'll do a good six, six months of training is enough. Six months of training is more than enough for, for the actors. <clears throat> They're going to train us in Kung Fu. They train me, they train VJ, they train Mike B. Jordan, they train all the people fighting the movie. The Fist actor. Well, the Fist actor, I will not have him fight in the movie. I'll just have him have scenes where he walks, runs, and that stuff. And all the fighting scenes, I'll, I'll hire a stunt double for him if I choose him. Or I might just choose another actor for Agent Smith. Because what worries me about that actor is his age, man. By the time I finish the three movies, it'll be like 80. <laughs> we'll be in his 80s. It'll be too old, man. That's why I might I might just choose another another actor for Agent Smith, to be honest. Another actor for Agent Smith. You could have Hugo Weaving return, but Hugo Weaving is also aging, too. He's 63 now. By the time I do the Matrix trilogy, he'll be in the 70s. He'll be old, man. You know what all these major actors who are in the movies are all they're all old people now. They're all aging people, yeah. Seems there. But my deal for Michael B. Jordan, you know, Michael B. Jordan, when you watch this, you're happy, Ivan, you're really concerned with me. Yes. If I purchase the rights of the major, which I most likely will. I will choose you, and I'll, I'll save you for three movies. I'll save Michael B. Jordan for three movies. I'll sign him to uh, the first movie. I'll pay him $9 million, and I'll give him 0.01% of the profits, which is a nice, I don't know, $5 million, $5.5 .5 million, $5 million in royalties, $4 million in royalties. Nice paycheck for Michael B. Jordan. And you give him a $250,000 royalty check for the merch. He gets a flat 250k world check. He also gets his speaking fee earnings if I go on the world tour. And he also gets what? His two thousand dollar gift card, three hundred gas card. And I'll pay him million, millions of dollars for the for the games too. Hey Michael. Hey Michael. Hey Michael, are you interested in, in doing the in doing the major game? Of course. Are you fucking kidding me? I haven't signed me up. 
I want to be a part of that Matrix game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll have I'll have you do the character model, and it'll be for you. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and the voice acting. And you pay Michael a nice two million dollars. Pay Brie Larson and Don Tzenzi and all of a nice two million dollars. So I'm saying. And then for the second game, you can pay them two point four, two point five million. In the third game, you pay them all two point nine, three million dollars. But they don't get squat off the royalties. I'm saying. If, they, if, if Michael B. Jordan's agent wants a piece of royalties for the games, I'm like, guys, I'm not going to give Michael B. Jordan a piece of merch for the games. He's not worth it, man. I'm the main show. Me and BJ are the main show for the game. The world's going crazy because of me. They're not going crazy. He, he'll, he'll buzz, obviously. But that's why I'm paying him millions. I'm not going to pay him millions of year in pieces of royalties. It's not worth it, man. I'm going to tell Michael, Michael. When you, if, if I do the Manchester Trilogy and I sign him to three movie deal, when I sign him to three movie deal, I'm not going to sign him for three movies. No, I'm going to sign him to one movie at a time. So he'll sign his contract for the first movie, but I'm going to tell him, I'm, but I'm going to tell him he'll also be doing two other movies. I'm not going to just sign him for three movies. No, don't do that. That's stupid because you, something can change. You never know. Just sign him to one movie at a time. But like in the contract, in the contract, he, he has the option of he'll be doing another movie. So you sign him for one movie at a time, but you, you sign him to a three-movie deal. But he's not locked on for three movies. No, he's locked on for one, but 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 you, in the contract it says he'll be doing two more movies. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Michael, you, the contract you're signing is exclusive. Why? What do you mean exclusive? By what I mean exclusive, I mean you can't be doing a bunch of movies while you're doing your Matrix movie. You know, if you don't want me doing that, you have to pay me a lot of money. Okay, is $9 million enough, Michael? You're going to walk away down almost $4 million of your bank after taxes. And I'll give you $2 million for the games. You get your 250, 250K royalty check. You're speaking for your earnings, and you also get your $2,000 gift card. Their hundred gas card. Is that enough, Michael? I mean, that's more than enough. And you also get the, 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 the royalty check, like a nice 4 $5 million in royalty checks. That's, is that enough? I mean, that's enough. That's more than enough money for me to last for, for a couple... Yeah, because... Once you do the first movie, Michael, you're once you do the first movie, Michael, you're what? You're only you're only gonna have like a couple of years off, like two years off, and you're gonna and, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and you'll begin filming your next movie. And if you get paid nine million dollars and a nice five million dollars in royalties and two million dollars for the game, that's more than enough money to last you for two years, for two and a half years. I'm saying, more than enough money. A million dollars is enough to last you for even ten years. So if, you, if you're making all those millions, Michael, you're, 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 you're well taken care of. Ivan, I'm, I'll be fine. I'm fine, Ivan. Yeah. And if Mike, if I made the Matrix trilogy, Michael B. Jordan's lucky. He's going to experience the fame with me for 10 years of his life, man. He's going to be saved for a good 9, 10 years of his life. He's going to experience that fame with me for the games and the movies, man. Something crazy. Yeah, man. A world tour for... You're looking at a crazy world tour for the Matrix trilogy, too, man. You look at something crazy. <laughs> Ivan, where are you going to film The Matrix? I'm going to film The Matrix where wherever they film The Matrix movies and the originals. I'm going to film it in, in all those same places. The Matrix, I heard, was filmed in Australia. So I'll film The Matrix in Australia. And I'll do a, I'll do a red carpet event in Australia. I'll, I'll rent a nice hotel in Australia. I'll do my red carpet events in Australia or something like that. So I heard The Matrix was filmed in Australia, I heard. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about. Yeah, I could have Ben Affleck's agent soon if you want, but nah, Ben Affleck looks a bit too nice for an agent. But I can have Ben Affleck and Scarlett Johansson be in the movie if you want. You can have them kick ass with you if you want. You can save them for three movies. Have Ben Affleck and Scarlett Johansson be a part of the Nebuchadnezzar crew and they go in the majors and they kick ass. If you want, you can do that if you want. You can do that. Now, sign Ben Affleck's cause your hands to a massive contract. They get a nice, like, 0.1%, and then you pay them their nice, like, $47, $48 million in bonuses and royalties. Obviously. 0.1% if the movie does this, and if it does less, they get 0.07. Remember that. I'm not going to let them do it like that, man. Yeah, but I even know. The Wachowski sisters, I'm not going to do that for them, because the Wachowski sisters, they create the Matrix brand. Hence why I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that conditional deal for the Wachowski sisters. Because if a college sisters, I need them on board. They create the Matrix brand. They deserve their 0 0.1. Whereas when Affleck and Scarlett Johansson and all of them, I'll give them 0 0.1. But if the movie does more, I reduce to 0 0.07. They're still going to make their nice, like, 
38 million dollars in royalties, 40 million dollars in royalties, 40 million dollars in royalties. It's good enough. It's a good deal. It's a good deal, Sam. All right, let's talk about my Matrix story here in the remaining, I don't know, 14 minutes that I have on my phone. Right? So when I plan out the three Matrix scripts with VJ, obviously, okay, VJ, let's read Matrix 1. And we go over the script. When we go over scenes, me and VJ, we take notes. We take notes. We have a notebook, and me and VJ take notes. And VJ will help me. We take our notes, and we write in our ideas for the first Matrix movie. Okay, we take our notes first, and then we plan out what we want, ha what we want to happen in, in, in the middle, beginning, and end of the first movie. And we write some notes for the second and third movie. Okay, VJ, when you, when you read the script, it's very clear the agents call Neil the anomaly. Why? Because Neil is the one. He has the anomaly code. He has the code of the one. He has a unique gene, obviously, the unique, the unique code. Obviously, he has a unique code, hence why he's able to, to, to beat the agents easily. So the one is called the anomaly. Write that down. Morpheus says the one is born in the Matrix. So what did the Wachowski sisters mean? They never really explained that. What did the Wachowskis mean when he said the, the one was born in the Matrix? Okay, okay, BJ, this is my idea. My idea for the one being born in Matrix is you have this seed. You have this seed. You have this seed white. You have this seed in white. You have this seed. You have this seed in the in 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 in, in, in. where does the seed come from? I don't know. We're gonna have to discuss this with the cousins. You have this seed that forms into a baby, obviously. And then once the baby's formed, obviously, the machines put the connections on his body, obviously. And the moment they plug him, something happens in the matrix, and he the one is now born in the matrix. I'm saying? The one is now born in the matrix. How was he born, Ivan? My idea is you have you have this electricity. The electricity comes from the ground or it comes from the sky. I don't know. You can have it come from the ground or from the sky. Because you have it come from the sky, the people will see that, obviously, right? The electricity comes from the ground or something like that. It forms. You have this light and it forms this electricity, obviously. And then, and then what? And, and, and you get this green code and it forms the body, of the, the skeleton, the body of the baby. But you see the light in the code because the, 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 that, ba that baby is the one. The, that baby has the anomaly code. You see the anomaly code in the code, in the green code, when it creates the body of the baby in the matrix. But you also see the skeleton of the baby because the baby is also human. That way it represents the half man, half machine. That way you honor the Wachowski sister's story and you don't disgrace it and burn to the ground like J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, Kathy Candy, Bob Iger, and all the Disney execs did for, for George Lucas' trilogy. You know what I'm saying? Unlike, unlike Disney, I actually care about the Wachowski sister's story. I want to honor their story. Whereas Disney did not care about Army and George Lucas story, hence why it was so messy and they brought Palpatine back, Sim Yeah. And VG will help me. You know what I'm saying? When the agents form, there's a glitch that happens in the Matrix. You get this, you get this story, you have a fa it's just, you have a, you have a scene where you have a family, they're in a, they're in some event. They're in they go to some event in the carnival, obviously, and they go to their apartment and they see this cat. They see this cat walk by, and they see another cat walk by again, like the deja vu, you know what I'm saying? And then when they open the door, the, the, the glitch happens, and they see a brick wall. They're like, uh, 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 mother, father, what's going on? And the glitch happens, and, that, and, and you get this vile thing going on. Some, 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 some people in apartments and the houses are complaining. Honey, there's a brick in front of our door. You know, there's a brick wall in front of our door. You know what I'm saying? That's when Agent Smith comes back, and you get this electricity... And you get the green code of agents, the green code forming the body of Agent Smith in full adult body form. But you don't see any skeleton because Agent Smith is not human. He's a program. That way it represents the full machine side of Agent Smith. Because Agent, Agent Smith is a machine. He's a program. He's not. He doesn't have any human blood in him. He's a program. Whereas the one is actually human. But he's also half machine. You know what I'm saying? I have 50% battery left on my phone. My phone's running out. My battery on my phone's running out. That's not good. Yeah. God, I was just saying, so, so Ivan, you, you're thinking of a seed. Yeah, a seed. A seed, something like a sperm. You have this sperm... 
this sperm seed and and, and, and I have where's the sperm sperm come from? I don't know. I don't know. I have some ideas. You can have an idea where you have like you have the machine, the machine obviously, and and it carries this the sperm and it puts the sperm in the goo and it forms into a baby. You can do that if you want. I don't know where the seed the where the where the one where the seed of the one comes from. I'm gonna have to discuss that with Okiga, with Okalsi sisters. Hey guys. Okay, Lana Wachowski, does does this honor your story? Am I consistent? Ivan, you're consistent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? When we, when we said the one was born in the nation, we, we didn't really know what we meant. We just put that in the story, obviously. We, we, did, we didn't have any backstory. Yeah, when they say the one was born in the nation, no one really knows what they meant by that. And see, only way I, the only thing I can think of is you have the birth of the one in the, in the real world, and you also have the birth of the one in the Matrix to make the story consistent, obviously. Tim Sarah. And as the one grows in the matrix, his body, his his real human body in the real world also grows. And so whenever more, whenever, uh, whenever what VJ and and Mike and all of them free my mind, I'm in the real world. I wake up in the real world, and you and I, I am I'm in, I'm in, I'm a full grown human. So I'm saying in the real world. So I'm saying because I grew in the matrix, I also grew in the real world. The way you're consistent with the Wakali sisters' story. So I'm saying. Holy shit, you're creative. Yes, I'm very creative. I know how to tell a good story, man. I know how to tell a good story. Some singer? I know how to tell a good story. I know how to tell a good story. Okay, VJ, in the third movie, it takes place five years later. Guys, okay, what are you thinking of? The only thing I can think of is I have a beard. I grow this beard in the third movie, and, I, and, and I, the reason why I don't shave my beard is because I'm depressed, obviously. I don't want to shave my beard. And something changed. And whenever I have my beard in the real world, I also have a beard in the Matrix. Because the glitch happened, something changed in the Matrix. The Matrix is now updated. Hence why whenever I have a beard in the real world, I also have a beard in the Matrix. That way you, you tell a, a more amazing story. I think it's a more powerful story when you have me, I'm more mature, I have this beard. I am aging a little bit. It's like it's like it's like seven years later since the first movie. I had this beard, obviously, and I fight Mach and I fight uh Agent Smith once and for all. I and I and I, I delete him officially. I haven't how I delete him, I don't know, but I, I I defeat him obviously in the end. And I don't die. I don't sacrifice myself. I, I defeat him once and for all. And 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 Michael B. Jordan and VJ, my, my my love my love of my life does not die, obviously. VJ does not die, Sam Sarah. VJ does not die. VJ does not die, Sam Sarah. I could have VJ die in the third movie. It would be very sad, obviously, but I don't want to do that, man. I want to, I want to end the story off where, where, where the one the one this time does not lose the love of his life. Whereas Keanu Reeves lost Trinity and he also sacrificed himself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, VJ, in the end of in the end of Revolutions, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Neo tells the machines that the the, the, the what? The the program Smith has grown beyond your control. You cannot stop him, but I can. So the, the machines know that the, Keanu Reeves tells them that they cannot stop the program Smith, but Neil said he could. But yet he and the machine says, "If you fail, he says I won't." And then Neil ends up failing. Neil fails in the sense that he could not defeat Smith. He let Smith copies of onto him, and he failed. Obviously, he saves on obviously, but it came at a price. He had to sacrifice his life, and in doing so, the virus Smith was never destroyed. And Neil Smith failed. Uh, Neil did. Neil Neil failed. He did not defeat Smith. You see what I'm saying? What does Smith mean by saying, is it over? You know what I'm saying? The Neil Smith nods his head, it's over. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then Smith gets destroyed, obviously, but Smith, the spirit of Smith still lived on in Neil. Because he imprinted himself onto Neil. He was a part of, he became a part of Neil. Hence why he was able to what? Hence why he was able to what? He was able to come back. 
And that's how the deja vu happens in the majors. And that's how Smith comes back. Oh my, oh my God, but you found the way to bring Smith back. Yes, I found the way to bring Smith back. That's the only thing I mean, that's the only thing I can think of how Smith comes back, honestly. He copied himself onto Neo. So the uh, he copied his essence onto the one Neo. And then the Smith, the 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 the, 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 the machines destroyed uh, Neo. And then by destroying Neo in the real world, they were able to destroy uh, the, the Neo, Neo Smith in the Matrix, obviously, and not destroyed Smith, obviously. But in the end of the movie, the Oracle said, Neo's spirit still lives on. He's watching us. And because the, the virus Smith was imprinted onto Neo, the virus Smith was never fully destroyed. It was destroyed, but it was never fully destroyed. Because a part of it was still alive. And that's how Smith comes back into the Matrix. And you get the deja vu. You get the two cats going by. The, the, the brick walls, and that's how Agent Smith comes back, and you see his body forming. So you get this green matrix code, and the body of Smith forms in, in, in full adult form, and like three agents form behind him, and they clinch their fists. You get this scary song. You get this scary song. You know, since Smith is like, I'm back. He's like, Smith, it's nice to see you. You too, you know what I'm saying. Any anomalies? No anomalies. The last anomaly, the name was Thomas Anderson, also known as Neo, deceased a hundred years ago. You know what I'm saying? Are you sure there's no anomalies? No anomalies. And like, and that's when they, that's when the the machine, the, the machines in the real world blink. The sentinels blink. They're aware, obviously, and everyone in Zion panics. And the Oracle and Architect they make a deal with the um, I don't know the Oracle and the Architect they argue with each other, obviously, and then they go see the machines. They go see the machines. Ivan, how do they move the machines? I don't know. They don't know. I don't believe that. They, 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 there's, there's some, they somehow connect with the... They somehow meet up with the machines. You can come with, you can come with a story of how the Oracle and Architect meet up with the machines. You see what I'm saying? Because the Oracle and Architect, you see them in the Matrix, but but they create the Matrix. So they, 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 you know, so they must have a way to, 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 they, they, to, to meet with the machines in the world, obviously. And, they meet, and that's when the seed of the one is created and it's born as a baby. And the moment the machines plug the plug onto the back of the baby, that's when the one is born in the matrix. You get this electricity, and you get the green coat, you get the skeleton, you get the green coat forming the baby. And you see the light, and if and the baby, the baby is born, the baby cries. My idea is the baby, the, the baby gets formed in a junkyard or something like that. A junkyard. And someone works in, in this junkyard. Okay, you're up. Your shift is done. Okay, thanks, man. The guy has a smoke, and he's smoking obviously. And he hears he, he no, he's smoking obviously, and he hears he hears this noise. He hears a baby crying, and the baby the baby's crying obviously, and the, the baby's crying in uh the baby's crying in uh and, and, and the baby is 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 is, is on top of a, is on is on, is on top of a car or something like that. And it's naked. The guy's like, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? You know what I'm saying? He finds a baby and he brings the baby home and like, we can't keep the baby. We should give it up for adoption. They give up to put he puts in the adoption center. And then you get the life of the one as a kid. Me, we should take all those notes. And the Asian Smith and all of them are now ruling over the matrix, and they don't know that baby is the one. And me, we should take our notes of what takes place in the first movie. As well as the second, the third. Now when we pitch the Warner Bros. were prepped. You know what I'm saying? And the Warner Bros. CEOs will be blown away and the Coxes will be blown away. And now I purchase the rest of the Matrix. And I tell that amazing story. The life of the one, me kicking ass as the one, Yemen. Yeah, I'm fighting all these badass agents, Yemen. Yeah, hence why I'm so fucking creative, and hence why God gave me a gift, and hence why what? When I'm king, I'm peace now, I'm a little bit of a left behind. And it was it for this video. I'm going to upload this video. You guys will enjoy this video with me in a good, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes from now. So I have an I'm signing out. Peace.